is uh, it was great match uh, when i started to watching that match it was amazing like uh, rohit sharma started from the fire and after that kl rahul also take fire on this match then suddenly after 5 overs uh, six overs india got 56 runs but suddenly arohit sharma got out then everything thing got changed kl rahul uh, pakistan got wicket kl rahul also and after that virat you know uh, suri kumar yadav also out so then everything changed but uh, still india uh, uh, put the total on stable 182 and it was great match like uh, india uh give uh, like uh, fight at the at the last m- ball and yeah at the end india lo- lost the match but it was great fight because we don't have anything to win but although we are fighting at at last ball that was a great uh uh line uh, great uh, words also from indian team if you are thinking you are losing something also you should be a stay there for fight for la- uh, at the last moment that's i learn from today because something will change on any point so don't lose your uh, anything for any moment like if you are losing something and you are thinking okay now i can- i should be a stop but might be anything will happen like uh, at the last over uh, and 17 overs india got one wicket and after that little bit changed the environment but yeah at the end we lost but it was a great match yeah and yeah. congratulations to pakistan yeah it was indeed a great match as i mentioned before in the chat you know it was like india started off early and the partnership uh, between rahul and rohit sharma was incredibly great they made 28 runs each and pretty much it started off very well but after the 10th over everything started deteriorating pakistan had an overhand you know upper hand over india and they started taking wickets and the main wickets you know and it was great bowling by pakistan after the 10th over they started progressing very well and when it came to the batting of pakistan actually they nailed it literally they were just like dominating i like that the shot that they made was pretty good like they were hitting a lot of boundaries at the later stage as well and nawaz uh, yeah nawaz played really well actually i was telling my friend like this guy is really doing good the shots that he made and rizwan as well he just hit a half century and that was also great and the end moment was literally a goosebumps moment for me like two balls to run and my friend was like are you going to win i was like uh, i have no idea and all that and but both of the teams really played well yeah and pakistan won congrats you know what emperor like uh, when uh, that person saf ali in, uh, ali ali some uh, player name was ali Yeah. he came and after that uh, he hit the ball and it was a catch but uh, it uh, uh <laughs> but uh, that person didn't out because of it uh, it's drop the catch that if that catch will be uh, taken from the india so might we uh, change the scenario yeah, india will be win but <laughs> Yeah, when he dropped the catch, my friend hit me really hard. You know, when Arshadeep dropped that catch, my friend was like, "What the?" <laughs> yeah, but yeah. It also, was, uh... also, I was thinking what they are doing. Also, uh, about the Rohit Sharma reaction. Uh, yeah, it was seems like angry. he was too angry. Yeah, very much angry. And the last over was also taken by Arshadeep. He was doing well. Like we got a wicket in the last over as well. But yeah. someone has been right but yeah it's fine uh, like uh, first round india won first match second match pakistan won let's see about third round third round hope so will we come <laughs> yeah we will yeah by the way rainbow rainbow you, you from pakistan do you want to say something because your country won this match today yeah some words say some words for your country Anyone, guys, wanna speak? Yeah, Eagle. 
Okay, I also watched the match, but not the entire one, not over, over by overs. But I have a good idea about it. Yes, Rohit Sharma along with KL Rahul, they started off really well. And after that, uh, Kohli again, he tried to get his form back and he did it pretty well again. So, yes, according to batting perspective of India, it was a good, good decent, or I will not say decent, but it was a very good match according to batting perspective. According to fielding perspective, and that's what uh, Leo Patrick, you mentioned, and that is, I think, the point where we uh, lost the match. Or else I can say that that was a deciding factor. That was decisive. At that moment, it was pretty sure that now things can change in no, in no time. And that happened. If uh, yes, Pakistan also did a few mistakes. They also, in the, especially in the last over, they also dropped a catch and uh, they conceded last two balls uh, boundaries in last two balls. But the th the difference is that when they did, it was that they are only conceding runs. They are not letting uh, the batsmen, escaped batsmen, to face more than one delivery when they just drop the catch. Or, but in India's perspective, what we did, what we did was, we just gave them another 20 balls to play with their whole strength, and that's what proved to be a deciding factor. But okay, it's nevertheless we can only take, we can again take positives out of it. After two, after two days, we are going to have one more game, and after two days, again a game with uh, Afghanistan. So uh, we can assume that because these are the minor teams, so we can beat them. And after that, we can have a thriller once again, India versus Pakistan in the finals. So let's hope for the best. And it was a very good win from Pakistan. And that came after eight long years uh, when it comes to Asia Cup. Congratulations to them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Congratulations to Pakistan. Also, uh, where be India today lag about the three overs left and it, India throw like more than nine bite ball. That's in that way we lose the game also. Yeah, actually, yeah. It was like five white balls in eight balls or something. Like that. So it was like. Uh... See, according to me, that time we also did not concede uh, so many runs. Yes, there were, uh, I think, five or six extra runs, six wides in last nine balls, but we did not concede runs. But in the 19th over uh, of Bhuvneshwar Kumar, we conceded, I think, probably 18 to 19 runs. And there was the difference uh, because Bhuvneshwar Kumar is the, our top baller. And if he will concede 19 runs in the 19th over, that tells the whole story. Yeah, and today also Ravind Jadeja didn't play because of injury also. Avesh Khan didn't play because of fever. So, yeah, it was also bad uh, news for India. Let's see what will happen and what what will be the playing level for next match and how India will be manage, how Indian captain will manage the playing level. And same, so, same team. Same team. Can we say that not including Dinesh Karthik cost us the match? Yeah, Dinesh Karthik should we play. Yeah, yeah. he didn't play today. Fun. But if he, he has to play, fun. then at what order? Because whatever the order we played with uh, at that time, they they did not did anything wrong. Means batting perspective, we were quite fine. And according to keeper's perspective, we also did again. We did not drop any catch. So, uh, is it valid to say that if we have we had included Dinesh Karthik, uh, things might have changed? It is. It yeah, is. I I totally agree because uh, I can observe Dinesh Karthik have uh, Dinesh Karthik is a very mature kind of player. He he played uh, the match how match is going on. Not with uh, uh, like uh, emotions and something. He played how match will going on, and in that way they played the match. So yeah, Dinesh Karthik should be there. Yeah, but actually Virat Kohli did a good part. You know, like he was till the very end, till two balls were left, then he became out. But he was from the start to the end. That was a great job. And I had like uh, great expectations from Hardik Pandya. But he got out in only two balls, and he didn't do very well when it came to balling as well. So, yeah, that was one part. But anyways, like it was a great match, you know, like worth watching. 
Yeah. Yeah, Rishabh Pant also he didn't do anything today. Talking about Rishabh Pant, yes. Talking about Rishabh Pant, he played a very weird shot, and he uh, he has to, uh, and he was costed by the wicket. So the thing is that okay, let's not decide by a single game, but it since it was the very high electric game, and should these uh, shots be played? And although these are very natural shots to him, so what is your take? Okay, uh, I I will say like. Uh... if you are playing a big match so you should be be careful and also uh, this match between india and pakistan people are have lot of uh, uh, like people are getting electricity uh, you when say something yes rio patrick you were asking something yeah i was saying like uh, uh, these player are playing from long time like rishabh pant also played very good uh, uh, match in a uh, test match also and he now he, he consider as a uh, a good player and he he should be know if match is a stuck um, because already be lost the three wickets and four wicket so uh, that uh, that player should be uh, play all ball be carefully because um, rishabh pant know how much player uh, available on the table after me and they will play better than me and not so uh, he will be too much careful for on shot not he should play any such kind of like a crap shot yeah and did you guys see that dr is like that ultra is shot you know it took a long time for the yeah, that ultra yeah, yeah that that's 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 a uh, time also make us uh, like uh, literally yeah. uh, I thought it's like gonna be out because there was a little fluctuation in that ultra edge, you know. Yes, so... yes. Yeah, but so but yeah, we lose the, the match because of that. Uh, we lose the match because that uh, person, that player, drop one catch or or at last moment. If we got that catch, so uh, might we we are celebrating about India won this match. Yeah. So, dropping catch decide the match also. But these guys actually they have a lot of pressure. And when it came to Bishna also, he had like three wide balls in a over, and it was his first time against Pakistan again. So he also had a lot of pressure on him. That's why maybe that's why. But Emperor, if you are only considering five runs in your over, and that too you are taking a wicket. So I think whatever whites you are taking, if you can give it in the form of whites or free runs, or you can give it in the form of uh, legit runs. So I think it's okay because that was your strategy at that time. Because they were because Rohit Sharma was not showing any emotions even after those three to four whites. Uh, that make us make me to feel that it was quite intentionally done. That they were uh, trying to uh, get just along the line. so because of not in inaccuracies it was wide mm -hmm. yeah so it was like screaming when that our stick dropped the catch that was the only emotion that he had and talking about that drs that ex, uh, that there was something i think because of the deflection that was shown shown on the graph so what do you want to say about yeah actually that third empire was like there was no deflection but there was a little fluctuation in the ultra edge but he didn't consider that he was like was it yeah, promising no was it promising it enough actually for me i was thinking it's out because there was some a fluctuation in the ultra edge so me and my friend no. were like okay it's out no but he, the third empire no went for sorry no fluctuation no fluctuation no there was uh, a little no, there were no no there were okay. fluctuation also i saw that see talking about fluctuation certainly no there vertical, were but no, no vertical fluctuation vertical fluctuations will only get if there is a good amount of ball involved in your bat otherwise just a glimpse of it you are not going to get that vertical but but it, it was i think it was all de, it all depends on the umpire's decision and it was not promising so if it is not promising uh, rules favors the batsman 
and yeah and also we should accept it pakistan played very well uh and hope so india will be give fight back again yeah one last question because this is the question which was in my mind when i was watching uh that there is a rule that's rule new rule imposed uh in cricket and that is that if you are lagging in uh, hours uh so then like india was lagging in the later later end so you uh, are restrict you are restricted to keep one player outside that uh, 30 yard circle so what are your views that it is quite impacting a lot in cricket or it's like the day you are playing okay uh, about new rules so uh, it's a very uh, n- good rule so all uh, captains should be be careful re- related about overs because they are taking a lot of time when getting uh, when they want to wickets they uh, they use a lot of time for making uh, some a strategy uh, uh, making some like a uh, for where uh play uh player will be put for the catch and something like that so it makes some sense for the over and also it makes some sense for the captain captain should be uh, alert r- related about time because the captain always before that taking a lot of time for one over and and okay. also also if you are getting a lot of time and also i can say in in when t20 world cup will happen so that rule will be a uh, big much hype up because winning the match it will change the whole scenario of the match on last four over yeah as it was also said by the commentators okay one more question i have in my mind uh, so that question is oh, just, i just it just slipped off my mind just give me a few seconds it was a boundary and it was a bad chance uh, yeah 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 i saw yeah i remember yeah, that's that six so where he literally fell down not the six it was a boundary where he fell down like he flexed too much uh, it was a great shot they showed it twice or thrice i don't know maybe i will get a picture tell me that. and tell me one thing now because it's about time earlier it was only about the punishment but in the form of the match fees that you are getting by playing the game so but now it is in the form of that you cannot uh, pl- uh, put one player outside the 30 yard circle so now it's uh, quite promising that you should uh, be in time with your overs so my question to you is the time taken by the uh, uh, batting team of course when we are bowling so in my reference so the time taken by the batting team in uh in like sometimes they try to get their gloves or some uh, d- uh drinking stuff so they are taking some time so they, they are consuming time this is one thing and the other thing is that the time taken by the third umpire it was around 5 to 6 minutes today so this time is counted in the fielding sides uh, uh bucket or not this is my question that was my question also i was also wondering about the same like what is what is to be done with, like with the opposite team's time what if the batting team takes some time that usually we see anyone who actually knows because i don't know even i'm looking for that answer also yeah today it's a nice question like of batting team also taking some time lot of time for getting some yeah so sometimes they change the bat and like they are uh, like they ask for like some some guy from outside the st- outside the pitch they come just to change the bat and something sometimes they take time in stretching and they, if they feel hurt and all so like i don't know like who, does that time counts in fielding side so like is it no no it excluded? does not count on the fielding side fielding are you sure is only count yeah i'm sure okay they have separate counters for that so they don't count in the fielding side though i couldn't see the entire match today i was in library my exams are about to come so i was start but like i was tracking the score side by side and to me like uh, at last i came to my house after 10 pm and then i saw the last few hours and to the entire match i would say i felt like match was on our side it was just the second last over was from pakistan side 
that and that with that over they got the match otherwise like entire game i was thinking it's an our hand it's an our hand but last that second last over it, it just they took over the match that's my <laughs> summary of okay, the match okay no 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 whole match was in pakistan side but no, when no. hardik pandya hardik pandya took the wicket of rizwan after that uh, it seems like pakistan put the whole match in in our table uh, in in our in pockets uh, and after that india should be make make the make this match in our side proper way but uh, that's a uh, last that was very start. yeah that was a very i think that much even if someone is playing did good it, now it's still i yeah i mean. did india got defeated dude yeah welcome to the world okay actually yeah actually it, uh, like pakistan was going to win you know it was like at the early overs itself it was a fixed person winning way when it came to pakistan and after they were like hitting fours and like crazy you know like nawaz and yeah nawaz actually did a pretty well job in so but in the last two overs like 16 17 overs we were not giving any boundaries so yeah I don't, I don't track cricket like for last uh, couple of years, so I'm not that much aware about this. But like, I think Rizwan has to play at like the downside, like the lower batting order. But like today they put a card and like they like promoted him a little up, and he did his job, I think. What is his usual order to play? He opens only. Namaz. Oh, Actually, one. their management suffers him uh, suffers him quite a lot because I have seen number of times when he has opened number of times. When... Yeah, I would have concluded the topic or like given my conclusion, but like the thing is, I haven't uh, like watched the entire match, so I just saw the last uh, seven to eight minutes. So I think I I am not the right person to conclude this. Other than anyone else, I conclude like upon the last thing, like Pakistan played really well or something. Like See, one thing is that we can take one thing or positive out of the game played today. That is that we are not going to get healthy minus run rate because the match went down to the wire. So uh, because at the end it would or it might or it might not be about net run rate, but if it is that it, we can take this thing because other games are uh, we have to play with Sri Lanka and other game is. uh from afghanistan so we might be winning that and by winning now the time can be off net run rate so i think we are doing good in this field. okay guys thank you hope so we will meet again in third round with pakistan and we will give good fight to them and that day we will enjoy again yeah with champion okay